What's good everybody? Welcome to Life on Beagle Road. I've got a question for you. Are you struggling to find the garden of your dreams? We are. And today we're going to figure out why we're struggling and how we're going to overcome it. This pile is just a mound of our failed attempts and broken tomato cages, a greenhouse tunnel that fell apart. Lindsay, how many times a day I gotta put you back in the pen? Hmm. He just wanted snuggles. Oh. Oh, look at him. Oh, are you my snuggle baby? <laughs> weeds. Lots and lots of weeds. And bugs. Seriously, Kenny, there's bugs in my face. Sometimes we get really distracted by goats and don't get anything done. Bridget didn't move the wooden sword. Robbie was like, like a monkey. Daddy, I'm hungry. Can I have something to eat? You just had dinner. I'm still hungry. Seriously? Are you peeing on the deck? No, I'm just like, Alright, look at me. Are you peeing on the deck? No, that's just shorts of water. I don't believe you for one second. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell yeah I'm on the way to the airport now uh-huh okay bye whoa, whoa, whoa where are you going what do you mean I have to go to California for how long a week shut up for real yeah I'll see you on Friday that's right folks the struggle here is real but not to worry we've found a solution Recently, we were contacted by the folks over at Greenstock. They're the folks that make the giant five, three, four, and five tier uh, vertical planter. They recognize how much of a hot mess we are and sent us one of their vertical planters. Folks, if you decide that the vertical planter is for you because you might also be a hot mess just like us, or maybe you just have a small space and you need a different way to grow, then click on the link in the description so you can go find out more about the Greenstock products and save yourself $10 by using the coupon code Life on Beagle Road on your own vertical growing system. Come on, let's go see how it's done. All right, this is where the magic happens. Right here. Three step directions. Plant, water, harvest. I think we can handle that. We've got directions for first putting together the base. So this is pretty awesome. I imagine this tower is gonna to be rather heavy once we get it together and filled with dirt. So a moving base will be key. This is a family owned company with Made in America products. Carefully labeled so I don't get confused. Water only. Got some fun stuff here. Worm castings, nice. Ooh, bush beans and lettuce seeds. And a bunch of other cool stuff telling us about this family owned business that manufactures their products in the United States. So this is actually a cap for the bottom, but I'm gonna stick it over this middle part while I fill these with dirt. Okay, so I know we joke about being a hot mess a lot, but we got in way over our heads with a huge garden. With the goats and kids and jobs and everything else, we just really were not taking care of the garden. Because, well, you know, 
animals and kids come first, right? What I really liked about the green stock is that we could use it without taking up much space on the deck, which meant we could come out here and spend time as a family and I could garden without the kids getting into trouble, drowning in the creek, beating on each other, destroying the house. You get the idea. We could garden as a family. And to be honest, this year, we were kind of late getting started. And so this makes the ideal place to mix seeds and started plants. All right, let's stack our garden. All right, I've got our water reservoir there. I want to make sure the dirt's all out of these so it doesn't plug the little holes. water reservoir here on top. We're gonna fill this water reservoir to the number of tiers that we have. So if you've got a three tier planter, you'll fill to here. Four to here, we've got five, so we're gonna fill to here. Then what happens is all of those gray discs that you saw in each level fill with water and work as a drip irrigation system. So unlike traditional vertical gardens, you don't end up with really wet soil at the top and dry soil at the bottom. Well, folks, that is how we are going to rescue our garden this year. I cannot wait to see what uh, the fruits of our minimal, minimal, minimal labor are. If you notice, it takes about one cubic foot of dirt per tier, which isn't bad at all. And we got, what, six different plants in that same area. This could be a giant mess, or this could be the absolute garden saver. My hope is that you stick around to see and find out what happens here in our garden, but I will tell you this, we loved this product so much before they contacted us that we had actually already bought one. Huh. Yeah, can you believe that? How serendipitous is it? I don't know, but we planted all kinds of cool stuff in there. As long as there's green beans and peppers in there, you know I'm gonna be a happy man. So if you would like to have one of these suckers, check out the link below, click it, use the coupon code Life on Beagle Road, save yourself $10, and uh, y'all have a good day. Hey everyone, thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe and hit the bell. Oh,